Huh? It starts annoying me. What? I try to relax. No, but what are you doing? I you try to do... relax. So shut up. Okay, I'm gonna tell stuff. Because you're a f***ing idiot. Huh? What? What? Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call the police yeah. if you do this. Yeah. Police. It's not just a f***ing Okay. The guy, this is not normal, chat. This is not normal. What the f Okay, this is not normal. This is fucking weird. This is not normal. Not normal if I do that. A man recently chased IRL Twitch streamer Just Kath while she was doing a live stream at a resort pool where she was a guest. She ran into the lobby to report the incident and he followed her in. It's none of your business. Yeah. Uh huh. What's that? Go. Go what? I pay a lot. Yeah, yeah. Cat, cat. I pay thirty-eight thousand baht. So what? Yeah. So you're drinking on the beach? Yeah. I sit to relax. It's nothing to do with you. And you go around like. It's not with you. I didn't film you. No. Yeah, please don't have anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Try not deep. The guy just. <laughs> Did you see the guy? The guy just sit on the swimming pool, right? What? No? No. Why would I have to see that? Okay, first of all, he sit like that. Then I look at him and I smile because I think like, okay, is he gonna have problem? I'm streaming. And then you know what he do? He do this. He do this, like gesture. Like with his dick or something. Now you're to go him. You can also see at the end of the or at the middle of the video there when she's showing him that he's pointing at his lap while asking her to come sit with him. Um, but despite the fact that it was clear and obvious from the live stream why the man was chasing her, that wasn't enough to stop angry people, mostly men, on Twitter from rewriting the events of the day to demonize Keth. So let's take a look at some of those. So these are in response to the video that was posted by Dexerto. So here's the first one. This is not normal, it sure isn't. You are talking to your camera when someone is trying to relax by a pool. And I'll stop here for one second. Even if that was the case, even if he was upset that she was live streaming and that he was in the background. That doesn't justify chasing her out of the pool. He could have, if that was the case, it wasn't. The appropriate response would be to ask her to stop or to go talk to the workers at the resort about what's going on to see if she's allowed to do it. The proper response is not to chase her and yell at her. So even in their you know, pipe dream of what happened, he's still in the wrong. But let's continue on because there's some more hateful comments here. This user said, I don't see the part where he said, come and sit with me. It's more likely he was annoyed at the lady streaming him and making a scene without his permission. And I've got one more here, it's three people talking to each other. So one says, but we don't see that happen. We only see what the video shows. I'm not trying to take a side. Yeah, of course you're not. I'm just saying this video doesn't show the topic it's caption is talking about. Why not include the earlier part of the video? This person replies, links to the full VOD, which is Twitch talk for video, are littered under the tweet. You can also just look up the streamer and watch for yourself. I don't see what your point is other than you are too lazy to watch the extra content you think is nowhere to be found. And of course, someone had to come in and say F off. No one wants to watch a crappy full VOD of nonsense. 
and nothing even happened here other than a heated exchange. So these are people just saying we're not, we don't want to know what actually happened because that would damage our you know preconceived biases about you know women being instigators. But in a series of tweets, Kath laid out what actually happened that day. So her first tweet of the thread said, "I was streaming at the hotel's pool where only me and the guy were present. He's been sitting in the pool and drinking beer." After he asked me to sit next to him and made a sexual gesture, looked at his crotch and nodded while I was at the opposite side of the pool, I said no. He suddenly came up to me aggressively by clenching his fists and started yelling. He started chasing me, so I ran away and started telling to the hotel staff about it. In the meantime, he came with my stuff I left at the pool and threw them to the ground. So what ended up happening to this man? Well, he was arrested. Despite bragging about how much he paid on his stay at the hotel, he could not afford to pay the fine and was taken to spend the night in jail, which Keth described in her tweet thread when she said, called the police and they ended up fining him. He claimed not to be able to pay by any means that didn't require my personal information and claimed that he had no access to cash. So the police took him to the station and will make him spend one night in jail and pay a 300 euro fine. And this is really gross as a woman and more specifically as a woman who is also a Twitch streamer. The type of harassment is that we receive is often downplayed despite the fact that it is unique than the type of harassment that male streamers get. We're often called liars, we're often told to suck it up. And it's gross. It's not surprising, but it's gross. Was what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm. I'm honestly just happy that the authorities were able to step in um, on this because this dude was clearly menacing this young woman, and uh, he seemed pretty dangerous to me. I wish there was security on staff um, that could have intervened even faster because, like, the the, the contact is dangerously close uh, for my taste. How much this guy gets in her face, as we could clearly see right there. So I'm just happy that the guy was was dealt with, but. Obviously, nobody should be attacked while they're just hanging out at a hotel and possibly, you know, enjoying themselves with their um, streaming audience. Uh, this is craziness. Yeah, and not even just having to deal with that attack and being chased, but then after the fact, having to deal with the harassment. Well, of course, that's coming. The, the peanut gallery online—that's just that's just a part of that's just part of online life these days. People are gonna say and do things, and and it's not even like people aren't just gonna doubt you. They're just gonna like, well, was it really that bad? It's like, oh, she's lying. Oh, there's a motive. Oh, there's a this. Oh, she's doing this for clicks. So it can't even just be like, oh, I didn't. Man, it didn't seem that bad. Like they, it's always got to go to the nastiest. Um, level possible online, which you know, it's just it's just a general toxicity that we see in all internet spaces, unfortunately. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it sucks, Kath. We're really sorry that you had to go through that. Glad to see you back to streaming as normally, and hopefully the harassment coming from the Laws Put It Peanut Gallery online can die down pretty quickly.